All right, uh, let's look at the homework seven, problem number eight. All right, so it uh, looks like our helium is pumped into a spherical balloon at the constant rate of uh, two cubic feet per second. How fast is the radius increasing after three minutes? All right, so let's uh, do that problem. All right, so a volume formula for a sphere would be uh, V is equal to uh, three over four pi r cubed, right? Then uh, if you take the derivative, uh, if you take the derivative of v with respect to time t, uh, you will get, uh, let's see, 4 over 3 pi is just a constant, and derivative of r cubed would be 3 r squared dr over dt. All right, so we can uh, cancel three on top and the three on the bottom, and you would get um, uh, four pi r squared dr over dt. All right, and what's given here is uh, let's see. Um, so the helium is pumped in at the rate of two cubic feet per second. So this tells you our uh, dv over dt, All right? And how fast is the radius increasing? So we're looking for dr over dt, All right? Uh, after three minutes. Uh, so a three would be, let's see, everything else is written in seconds. So three minutes is equivalent to multiply by 60. So it's a 180 seconds. So this is going to be our t value, All right? All right, so we have uh, that much information. All right, so first thing would be uh, we want to find uh, dr over dt. So we have, uh, this is the guy we're looking for. All right, then we actually know that uh, the dv over dt is, uh, is constant too. All right, so uh, I guess we can solve this equation for dr over dt. So let's do that. And we can simply uh, divide through by 4 pi r squared. So we get the dr over dt, that's what we're looking for. And the 2 over uh, 4 pi r squared. All right? So we can cancel uh, 2 and 4, so there's a 2 there. All right? So we just get the 1 over all right, uh, 2 pi r squared. All right, and we have to know the r value. So what's the r value? So this is after three minutes, which is 180 seconds later. So uh, the volume is going to be uh, starting from zero, then uh, two cubic feet per second. So it's going to be, this is going to be equal to two times uh, 180, right? So that's going to be the volume after three minutes. So this is going to be uh, 360. All right. So from here, we can actually solve for um, uh, R. All right. So first, I'm going to I'm going to go down here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just uh, multiply by reciprocal of 4 pi over 3. So it's going to be 3 over 4 pi. So I can isolate R cubed. All right. Then you have uh, 360 times uh, 3 over 4 pi. All right, then we can uh, simplify a little bit uh, here. Uh, 4 and 360 uh, cancel out, so that that's going to be 90, All right? And this is going to be uh, 270 over pi, All right? So if we want, uh, we can just um, take the, uh, I'm going to just raise it to the one-third power so that uh, we can isolate R, right? So it's going to be 270 over pi, raise it to the one-third power. All right, then uh, all you have to do is just uh, take this value and then plug that in here. All right, so this is going to be uh, 1 over uh, 2 pi, and then you have uh, 270 over pi.
pi raise it to the, so you have to square, so it's uh, instead of one third, we're going to do a two thirds, right? So let's uh, get this value here, right? And I'm going to just bring out the calculator, right? So this is going to be one over, right, parenthesis, and uh, two pi, so it's a two pi, and then I'll put another parenthesis to get the 270 divided by pi, Right, and raise it to the, oh, no, this, uh, let's see. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, clear. Oh, shoot. Uh, one over, sorry about that. Um, and uh, you have a two pi, so two pi, parenthesis, 270 over uh, pi, and then uh, raise it to the, uh, two-thirds power and close parenthesis all right so let's hit enter here all right we get the 0 0.0082 so it's about 0 0.0082 all right so let's type it in we got um, uh, 0 0.0082 all right so let's check the answer all right, we got that. All right, uh, so next question. Uh, select the correct choice and uh, the time at which the radius increases at the rate of uh, 100 feet per second. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, remember that the volume formula is um, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. All right, this is equal to uh, since uh, it's uh, pumped in, uh, pumped into the spherical um, a balloon at the rate of two cubic feet per second, so it's going to be that's the rate two, and times time t will give you the volume, right? So since we're looking for t, I'm going to just solve this equation for t. Uh, we can just divide through by two, All right? So it's going to be t I'm going to switch the size to two t divided by two would be t which is what we're looking for. And if you divide by two, you have a two over three pi r cubed, all right? So only uh, other value we need is the r value, all right? So since the, um, let's see, rate of change is here, of uh, rate of change of r with respect to t is 100. So we're gonna use that to find the r value. All right, so if you uh, go back to uh, this equation here, uh, dr over dt is one over two pi um, r squared. We can uh, we can find r from there. All right, so if you solve for r, you're gonna get. Let's see, I'm gonna have to write that down. So dr over dt is one over two pi r squared. All right, so I'm going to just take the reciprocal both sides, and it's going to be 1 over dr over dt, and that is equal to 2 pi r squared. All right, then I'm going to just divide through by 2 pi to get the 1 over uh, 2 pi uh, dr over dt. All right, this is uh, r squared. All right, then we can just take the square root of both sides. So you get um, uh, 1 over, right, square root of, actually, maybe I'll use the, uh, instead of square root, it might be easier to raise it to 1 half. It's the same thing. And uh, so it's going to be r is, uh, so it's going to be 1 over 2 pi dr over dt, raise it to the uh, 1 half power. All right, so that's going to be the R value. All right, then since we know that uh, dr over dt is 100, so you're going to have uh, 1 over uh, 2 times 100 pi, so 200 pi, and raise it to the 1 half power. All right, now we're almost there. Uh, since we have our R value right here, I'm going to just plug this guy right in there. All right. So we're going to get, I'm going to go down here. So it's a t is equal to, right, 2 third pi, 
by r is this guy. So it's a 1 over 200 pi raise it to the one half power, but you have to ra uh, raise it to the third power, so it's going to be three halves power. All right, so let's get this value there. All right, so what would be the, uh, let's see, we want to uh, run to five decimal places. Okay, so let's do that. So bring out the calculator. All right, so this is going to be uh, two divided by three uh, times uh, pi, all right, and then uh, you have a parenthesis, uh, 1 over, and you have uh, another parenthesis, 200 pi, all right, and raise it to the uh, 3 halves power. All right, so let's see if I uh, can get the right number here. All right, so it's going to be about 1.329807, um, right, uh, so 8.1. All right, so let's uh, type it in. All right, so we get um, here uh, 1.329807. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 okay, please try again. All right. Uh, okay, uh, actually, uh, I, I was not careful enough. So here, you have e to the negative 4. This is a scientific notation. This is a 10 to the negative 4. So I would have to put uh, 4, 0 in front. So this is going to be, uh, let's see. All right, so here is uh, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. So it's going to be that. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 decimal places. All right, so this is actually the answer. All right, check the answer. All right, got that. I, sorry that uh, I wasn't uh, paying attention to this part. All right, so this is actually times 10 to the negative full power. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear. All right, uh, actually here, this is times 10 to the negative 4. All right.